We're here this morning with Norihiko Hibino of Gem Impact. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Um, first off, can you tell us a little bit more about your studio, Gem Impact, and what game you've worked on in the past? Okay. Um, the Gem Impact is my sound production studio after I. Uh, finished working for Metal Gear Solid 3 at Konami and I started out my studio in 2004 uh, focusing on the like, high-end profile games uh, to create the uh, most highest quality soundtrack and we have been quite successful in the last you know, couple of years and um, we worked for uh, some of Metal Gear Solid franchises and also a Bayonet uh, series some other titles from US, Europe, China. We worked a lot with Tencent. So, yeah, quite a lot of video games and some animations too. What do you need to work with Ace Adventure Studio on the upcoming chemistry role playing game, Chemical? Okay, like six years ago from now, um, I was helping a college in Malaysia to set up a, a sound production department uh, where they can learn how to compose and how to mix and how to produce a sound for the multimedia. And of course we were uh, aiming for the game soundtrack. And there was a staff, uh, his name is Daniel Lu, and we were a good friend to, uh, at the time. And we kind of finished the project and Daniel moved to Sri uh, MS school and he contacted me and he was telling me uh, we are trying to develop the game student can learn chemistry or mathematics in the easiest way and I kind of you know I got an idea but I wasn't sure how serious they were making the game and I went to the first meeting uh, with all you know, board members and and I was so shocked that <laughs> they were really serious and they came up with a storyline and um, everything they came up with was so unique. I have never seen the uh, project like that. I have, I have seen many of those uh, education games in the past, but most of them are so much like education you know, oriented. So they didn't really think like serious game experience, but what they were looking for is really an experience of uh, joy so yeah so that was quite a big surprise to me um, the next question is two parts first of all we'd like to know how much involvement do you have in the soundtrack for Kem Caber and secondly how does composing music for an educational title differ from soundtracks for games like Metal Gear Solid for example mm -hmm. okay uh, I was kind of in charge of whole sound including music and sound effects um, I, Actually, we had uh, some discussion about the dialogue. Um, and we actually start from scratch, uh, what kind of style we are making. And, and they were mentioning about some Matrix or some, some you know, uh, movies in Hollywood. And, and we uh, composed uh, first theme music and we kind of shared the vision of where we are going to. And then I created some cinematics and also gameplay music too. And the difference between the uh, chemistry game and uh, the like, AAA title like Metal Gear Solid is, you know, those the big games are usually uh, producers and some other directors, they have already something in mind that what kind of music they want and they always refer to uh, some other soundtrack. We want music something like this. <laughs> we want this kind of feeling in this section. So they have kind of a solid idea of what the music is supposed to be. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the Kim Kaper game is uh, we are really building from scratch. So the visual is really in, in not yet polished yet. We only have a very vague uh, idea or what the visual will be like and the character is just not polished yet but um, I kind of create the music so that all the programmer designers um, even the producers they kind of share the vision of where we are going to and where the story is gonna be so yeah so it's really a creation process of whole experience it's quite different